It is a privilege to be joined on the summit today by KJ Jones from Emmanuel University. KJ has just hit a milestone number, and it's one of those really round numbers, a three with three zeros behind it. 3,000 points for your career, KJ. Congratulations on that. Let's let's start there. How does that feel to hit that mark? Uh, first of all, I appreciate you saying that. Um, uh, it means a lot. It's a very special uh, accomplishment. And uh, I think it's really special because it's just one of those things that um, I know myself, I didn't come into college like anticipating to do that or anything like that. Um, I've always just kind of just worked hard and, you know, whatever came is whatever came. And so, like, I think it's just a product of the work I put in over time. And I'm just super thankful to be um, with a group of people, a group of coaches, a group of um, teammates who allowed me to go out there and, you know, score the ball, just really just do my job. But, you know, they rely on me to score the ball. And. To score 3,000 points and be in um, a conversation with not many people is very special to me and my family. And so I'm very excited and uh, feel special about doing something like that. Well, it, it definitely is an elite group, a select group, and, and there aren't many people that have hit that number. Actually, you are the active leader in Division Two right now in scoring, so that's that's a pretty cool thing as well. You yeah. came in to Wednesday night's game with 2,977 points. That means you needed 23 to hit the mark, and you got 23, I mean, right on it. But what was it like going through there? Did you know that you were close, and and uh, what was it like during the game? Yeah, I definitely knew I was close. A lot of people kept kept me up to date. I try not to watch my stats and things like that just so I don't put you know pressure on myself. But uh, people definitely told me, and I tried to go into the game not um, overthinking it, but I am thankful that I did accomplish it in that game because – if I hadn't, I would have had to wait another 11 days before the conference tournament to do it. So I'm glad I got it out the way. But it was it was very um, exciting when it happened, and my teammates celebrated me, and a lot of people came to support. And um, I, I definitely don't take that moment for granted at all. Well, and I'm and I'm sure too. I mean, you know, that's one of those things that it'll be on your mind, and and you've got a ball game to play. On top of that, I mean, it's it's those team sports, and and you were just mm -hmm. talking about your team and and giving them credit in all of this, and and mm -hmm. I appreciate that as well because you've been able to do this and win games too. I mean, twenty four and five yes, right now. Let let's talk about that a little bit. The win on Wednesday, the end of the regular season, that culminates. It's your year in a five-game winning streak. You had a 10-game winning streak right prior to that. So 15 of your last 16 games have been wins uh, for the Lions. Mm -hmm. Talk about the season then. It's, it's I'm sure, an enjoyable one. Oh, yes. It's, it's definitely been enjoyable. Um, we have a special group of guys, and we have a really great coaching staff who just from the beginning, um, from the beginning of the year, just told us, like, this year we want to be consistent, we want to be tough, and, you know, the results will come. And I think that we've really committed to that. I think as a team, I think I think what separates our team from a lot of other teams in the country is that we we truly do have a group of people who like love each other and we all want to work hard and play for each other. And I think that's the recipe to winning, like playing for each other, playing together. And you're going to lose some games too like that. But when you have guys who care about each other and play for the next person and coaches who care about us and pour into us on a you know day-to-day -day basis, that – that plays a big factor into winning ball games, and I think um, it's just a testament to the culture that we have. And I'm just, you know, blessed to be a part of such a special group in a school and university. Who, I mean, everybody is really that supportive, from the teachers all the way to the coaches and stuff. So I think, like, just for from a team perspective, just being together, I think is what is a lot has allowed us to win so many games this year. I appreciate the way that you put all that together. That that means a lot. We're visiting with K.J. Jones right now from Emanuel University here on the Summit on Midwest Sportsnet, and we talk about small college sports and more throughout the Midwest and beyond. K.J., 26.1 points per game for the year, leading Division II in scoring average, and you did it last year, 26.2 points per game. I don't know where that point one went, so uh, <laughs> you'll have to talk for a tournament maybe to make it up. But even yeah. saying that, though, uh, there was one game where you went off for 43. Other than mm. that, uh, really not a lot of, of outliers to mm. your scoring sample this year. And, and mm. what I mean by saying that is, I mean, it's right around that 26 mark mm. all the way through. So you've been very consistent this year. What, what's your approach to the game with that? Um, it's very difficult um, because I think the biggest thing is just being disciplined and being intentional about the rep repetition that I put in on a day-to-day -day basis. And it makes it more difficult when I see a lot of different defensive coverages on a nightly basis. So one of the things I do in my training is we 
we try to replicate like what we think teams might do. And so like that's what makes it really hard because you go you come into a game and you don't know if they're gonna deny or face guard or double team or and so it's it's very um interesting like going through my practices and individual workouts because we have to get really creative on how ways I might be able to score a ball versus this team and it might be different the next game. And so I think just being very intentional about um you know the things I work on in my workouts is I think that's something that's helped me to be consistent. Um and also like people don't understand sometimes like when you are denied and guarded really hard, you know, it sets up easy backdoor cuts and things like that. So I'll get four or six points a game just off of defenses overplaying against me, you know, and just making reads like that. So just trying to be creative as, as creative as I can be in my individual workouts and finding those spots that I like to get to, to get to my scoring numbers. You know, KJ, we, we live in the era of the transfer portal now, and mm. I, I'm sure that's not lost on you. I'm sure you've had opportunities to uh, not sure. only transfer, but to play at the Division <laughs> One level as, as well. But you stayed in Emmanuel. Talk about your time there. My time at Emmanuel has been very special. Um, I, you know, when I first got here, I mean, this is my only scholarship offer coming out of high school. And I know a lot of people may not know that. And like, I always had the dream of making it to the highest level. I want to play in the NBA. And I just have always just believed in myself and in my hard work. And I kind of made a commitment to myself that regardless of where I go to school, I'm going to make it to that level. And so I've made it my mission to continue that same hard work and consistency and discipline to get to that level, regardless of where I'm at school. And, you know, obviously being around the teammates that I have and the coaches that I have, they also make it easier. I love them. And um, so that's what's, made it very easy to stay here. And I also can see my dreams and goals in the um, future coming very soon. So I'm just thankful for the people I have around me and just keeping me grounded and keeping me humble and just keeping the main thing the main thing because um, I think ultimately it's not about where you go to school. It's about the work you put in, like regardless of what school you go to. And that's ultimately how you can achieve your dreams. So I've just been committed to that. And that's why I chose to stay at Emmanuel. A great university there in Franklin Springs, Georgia. Yes, and uh, you, you've you've helped to uh, to make more awareness of Emmanuel and your time there. So, you know that conference tournament, which is as you mentioned, a few days off, so you get a chance to rest. But conference mm -hmm. Carolina's tournament coming up, you all the number two seed in the tournament, so you get even a little bit more of a break too, and, mm -hmm. and watch things play into where you all will step in and be a part of that. Talk about wrapping up this final season and, and uh, what the conference tournament and how you see the postseason run. Yeah, I'm excited for this postseason stretch. Uh, it's a bittersweet, you know, with my college career coming to an end. But this is an exciting time of year going into the tournament. And essentially because it's a new season, you know, everybody who's made the tournament has new life. You know, the competition is going to be there and ultimately the best will prevail. So, I mean, I think me and my guys are excited and prepared and we're going to do the things necessary and the things we've done all season long to continue to win, just being consistent day in and day out. And, you know, going into it, you know, knowing that anybody can win on any given night and we have to bring our A games if we want to win at all. So I'm definitely excited about this stretch and I think we have a real chance to make a deep tournament run. All right. KJ Jones, 3,000 points plus and counting. Uh, there's more opportunity is ahead, but uh, it's it's so nice to get to talk about uh, a, a milestone like that with someone uh, with a uh, quality character like you, KJ. Thank you very much for taking time with us today here on the summit. Success to Emmanuel as you all continue into the postseason and to go from there. Thank you so much. Thank you for having me. I appreciate it.